Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got something kind of cool here. This is the outdoor 1080p new wireless camera made by Foscam. And you guys already know, Foscam is a great company when it comes to IP cameras. Now this one here has a great outdoor performance. It's full 1080p. Uh, it also records audio if you have the correct RCA jacks, uh, night vision, motion detection. You can also get email sent to your phone when motion is detected, so that's great as well. And also, you can uh, log in and view it live via the um, Foscam app, and that app is available for Android or iOS. So now I'm gonna stop talking, turn this around, and we'll check it out. And uh, thanks to Foscam for sending this on over. Now this retails for 149, and this is great for those people who may not have the option to run a hard line, to run a, a wire. That's why this is wireless, so that's great. But it's wireless as far as video feed. Yes, that's true, but you're still gonna need to get power to it. So although you may not need to plug in an ethernet cord or something like that, so the internet will work wirelessly, but you're going to need to run power to it. So wherever you plug it in, you're gonna to need to run that line to this. But anyways, it's still a great camera, and we'll go ahead and check it out. All right, guys. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and open this up. Now this retails for $149.99, and you can get it on amazon.com, or if you want some more information about it, you can go to any one of these websites that they have, that they have list, listed here, and uh, foscam.us, or just go ahead and go to amazon.com and type in this camera, and you'll see it right there. And the model number is the FI9900P. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's the camera. Let's see what kind of goodies are in the box. Okay. Security warning. Okay, quick installation guide. Looks like a software disc. And then they have a remote installation card. And uh, I believe with this, they'll go ahead and give you support over the phone on how to install in case you run into any trouble. And here is the Foscam cloud service in the App Store. And uh, they even have it for a free trial. Okay. Whoa, okay now. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, just feeling it. I don't know if you can hear this. This is uh, like a very sturdy aluminum almost. Some sort of a metal, I don't know, but it, it it's heavy. It's very sturdy, I'll tell you that. The antenna, which screws on there. We have an Ethernet cable here. Some mounting hardware and a tool to go ahead and adjust the pivot and lock there. So if you need to go up, down, and twist it right to left, put the Allen, the Allen wrench in there as well. Okay, and here is the power cord. So like I said, you could put this anywhere you want. You don't have to run any uh, hard wire to it except for power. You will need to run power to it. So I'm guessing we have your ethernet here if you're able to uh, run ethernet to it. You have your red and yellow here. One's video, red is um, audio. And it looks like this is power that'll go in there. And uh, this is a reset button. I guess if you ever need to reset the camera, you just go ahead and press in there. And those are all the connections there. Then you have the antenna, which screws in here. Now, I'm guessing if you hardwire the ethernet in, you know, if you plug in the ethernet, I'm guessing the resolution is gonna be phenomenal. But I'm interested to see, interested to see how well it looks via uh, just going off of the Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna um, we're gonna sit here and set this up together, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Cause I'm guessing you're interested. How's the resolution? It being wireless, but I can tell you this is very well made. Wow, it's, it's heavy. I can tell you that. So it feels like it's about three and a half pounds or something, probably. Guess I'll tighten that up in a second. All right, all right, guys. 
Okay, so all I did was just plug in the power, plug in the power here, plug it in here, and it looks like this lights up too. I don't know if you can see that lit up right there, and that's where your ethernet goes, but we're not gonna use that because we're gonna try it wirelessly. And I heard the camera make a clicking noise, so we know it's powered up and it's uh, ready to go. So, what's something I could put down? Let's see, I'll put this box in front of it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and download the FoxCam app. And in the instructions, here is the QR code in case you don't can't find it in the app store, just scan the QR code and it'll bring up the app. So anyway, so we're gonna download the app. Okay, so I installed the app on my phone. Then I hit the plus symbol right here because we're gonna go ahead and add a camera. Now it's asking for the QR code. The QR code is on the bottom of the camera itself. So let me go ahead and get that. Okay, and that only took about one third of a second. Okay. So now it's asking me to enter the password to my Wi-Fi. Let me do that. Now I'm hitting connect. Okay, it says it is connecting. I don't know if you could see that there. And it said it'll be ready in 112 seconds. All right. Okay, so there it is. It is done. It did not take the whole 120 seconds. It made it all the way down to about 30 seconds left and then stopped. Okay, so there is the camera and it is that simple. Scan the QR code, type in your uh, Wi-Fi password, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button here. And now it's asking me to create a username for the camera and password. Okay, so after creating a username and password, we'll hit the play button. And then it says connecting and then there is the live feed. Now I'll rotate this so it's horizontal and then that is the full screen. So let's move the camera around. That's the hallway upstairs in my house. And then there's that. And that's saying motion detection alarm. Which is cool. So every time motion is detected, then it'll go ahead and let you know. So which is great for when you're away or you're out and then you get a notification like motion is detected that way you know something's moving inside the house. So it's all set up that took no time and then uh, if you want to record locally you know you just go ahead and hit the record button and right there you can see the time elapsing Then you can go ahead and hit stop Then if you want to look at any of that you go ahead and back up there's a little picture icon and then I took a picture and there's the photo and then if you go to video so there's the camera and I I can't say enough about their uh, high definition ones the the resolution is extremely clear a lot better and clearer than you would think especially for a wireless camera but at 149, hey, it better look pretty good. And there is a picture of it right there. And I'll go ahead and move the camera so you can see that it's live. And yeah, that's it. So for 149, there it is, guys. It's a great camera. And this is a great uh, solution for those of you that don't have the means to go ahead and uh, run a hardwired connection. But you will have to get power to it. But this is a pretty good camera, and this is outdoor. And there's even some foam around here to keep the moisture out once you have it mounted up. But uh, yeah, pretty good camera. You're all good to go. It only takes a couple minutes to set up. As long as you get power to it, you're, you're good to go. And a nice wireless solution. And it sends you alerts to your phone as well, and you could set it up to email you pictures of what's going on every time motion is detected. But there it is, 149 Boss Cam, guys. All right.